going on guys it is your boy jason love coming at you with another video about non-cdl and cdl hotshot um, before i start this video though i want to say thank you to everybody who subscribed to the channel we have hit the 500 subscriber mark guys we busted through it last night um, i'm super thankful for everybody thank you for being a part of this kind of community this channel as it's grown over the last month month and a half um, before I start the video though, I want to tell you guys about something super awesome that's going to go down. So this Friday at 6 p.m. my time, I live in Utah, that's 6 p.m. Utah, 7 p.m. Missouri, Wisconsin, that area, you know, 8 p.m. if you're farther more, if you're farther on that side of the, the United States, and then if you're in California, it's going to be 5 p.m., for example, <clears throat> but find, find your time. But <clears throat> 6 p.m. my time, which I'm in Utah, I'm going to be starting this Hotshot Q&A, this Hotshot podcast I'm going to be doing. The first person I'm going to have on there is Trucking Truth. He's a super awesome guy. He did semi for a long time. Um, he did hot shop for a while. Now he's back in semi, but he knows a ton about the industry. He knows a ton about hot shot. <clears throat> it's gonna be great to pick his brains. Maybe the reasons why he switched back to semi, how he felt hot shot worked for him, what what he liked about hot shot, what he didn't like. So we're gonna have a huge uh, conversation about everything hot shot. So that's gonna be Friday at 6 p.m. Utah time, which I think is Mountain Standard, if I'm not mistaken. So find your time zone, but. Do not miss it, guys. I'm telling you right now. It is good. We're going to do it live, and it's going to be awesome. It's going to be so good. But, yeah. So, let's continue on with this video. Um, in this video, I'm going to be talking about something uh, that was funny. My worst experience with a broker yet. Um, I've only, I haven't had really that many bad ones, but this is the first one. It's kind of just funny. So, do you guys don't know, I actually took on a truck. A guy with a brand new authority. I took on his truck to um, help dispatch him out. And um, uh, he just wanted kind of a quick load. You know, he lives in Wisconsin. He's like... I'd love to have a quick load, you know, just something small. So I was like, yeah, man, this is first load. You know, let's hook them up with something easy, right? <clears throat> so I'm on the load boards in Wisconsin right now for Hot Shot Freight is, is doing really well. There's a lot of different options. And I locate this bo uh, this load. It's going basically where he lives, not too much dead head at all, uh, about 350 miles, right? And I'm like, okay, this is be a perfect load, right? It's paying about $1.70 a mile, you know, something small, something easy, you know, get in, get out. So... Um, he's like, he's, I was like, do you want the load? He's like, yeah, let's go ahead and let's do that one. So I was like, awesome. So um, I text the guy because he had his number on there. He said, text me. So I text him. Seemed like a pretty nice guy. Um, at first, I tried to ask for more money, obviously. And he told me, he's like, well, yeah, I can only do it for four fifty. dollars What's posted? I'm like, well, it's posted for five fifty. So basically, first off, I was like, gosh, this guy's trying to make more money off of me. So he's like, oh, yeah, I just posted for five fifty. I was like, I know. So... We lock it down. He doesn't want me to fill out a carrier packet or anything. Um, he basically just wants to make sure that he's on the, the insurance. So I was like, okay, you know, but he sent me over his, like, his information. He was on truck stop, so I thought he was very, very verifiable. So we put him on the insurance as a certificate holder, send that over to him. Everything's good. He sends me the, the rate confirmation. Um, everything's good. So I sent it over to my guy, and basically what the item was, it's like a heavy-duty trailer, um, just a hitch trailer. Uh, it's like dual axle. I'll put a picture of it. Dual axle, you know, has like some some ramps on it and stuff. It's supposed to weigh about 6,500 pounds, be about 24 feet, right? So, I mean, it's just a partial, you know. So they should be super easy, right? So we're on with a forklift, no problem. So my guy gets there and he talks to the person he needs to talk to, and he's basically just sitting there and he's like, and he's like, what do I do next? And I'm like, well, they're supposed to load it for you, so find somebody to load it for you, you know? They shouldn't be loading you. He talks into him and he's like, they're like, well, we don't have anything to load you with, you know. Um, and he's like, what? So he called me. He's like, they said they don't have anything to load me with. And I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, I've literally never run into the problem where they don't have anything to load you with, you know? So, I mean, I have run the problem, but I mean, they that's because they were just busy for a second or they just needed to find something. You know what I'm saying? Um, not that they didn't have anything at all. So I talked to the broker again and I'm like, well, my guy's there. He says they don't have any way to load them. Like, what's going on? So the broker talks to the person and then... He's like, well, does your guy have any way to load it? And I'm like, well, he has a winch, but we're not going to winch this big old thing onto the trailer. Like, it's just going to tear up our equipment. Like, I'm not going to do that for 550 bucks, you know? So, because the trailers are just going to, like, hit each other, you know? So, we keep talking, and he's like, well, they have a forklift, but it's too small, you know? So, he's like, what if you guys, like, use the winch and the forklift and, like, just kind of jumble her on there? And I'm like, nah, dude, this is not going to happen, bro. <laughs> I was like, that's not going down. So long story short, I basically told him, I was like, hey, man, if they don't have a forklift to load us, like, I'd much rather just pass on the load. You know what I'm saying? Like, you wasted enough of our time. Like, I've never had this happen to me before. I mean, it's the first guy's load ever. So I call the guy and I'm like, hey, dude, 
Welcome to Hot Shot. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I told him. <laughs> the first load. I felt so bad, man. I mean, first load I got, I mean, I was supposed to be small, easy. But I just like, what did those people think? What did the, the, the customer think? You know, the person that was getting their thing shipped. They just thought like some magician was going to show up and be like, boom. Like, what? And the guy's like, he said, you guys get it on there, I'll have to hire a tow truck. And I'm like, you're not going to hire a tow truck, bro. There's no way you're going to spend the money on it, you know, for a small amount of money like this. So, yeah, I just said, don't worry about it, man. I mean, the guy didn't really go far from his house, you know, and he wasn't too broken up because he's really just trying to find a small load, you know, to, to kind of just do something to get started, right? But it was just funny that it was his first load ever, and that went down. But, yeah, guys, that's the worst experience I've had with a broker so far. I hope you guys can, you know, learn from it and maybe realize where I went wrong um, or just laugh with me because I thought it was kind of funny. But, yeah, guys, don't forget about the Q&A podcast going on. Friday, 6 p.m. my time with the dude, Trucking Truth. Um, I think it's Mountain Standard Time, not 100% sure. It's Utah time, so go off of that. You know, 7 p.m. for Wisconsin, that's where he lives. So, yeah, guys, I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching the videos. Thanks for subscribing. You guys are the best. Hope you have a great day.